Welcome to Dahlia Chic. Dahlia Chic is an intercollegiate online bi-weekly fashion magazine. And my name is Melina, and we're very excited to be here today at Boutique 4 in Mountain View on Castro Street. And this is Tamara. Hello. Owner of Boutique 4. And I just wanted to Tell interview us her, so I'm very excited. Four. When did it all start, and um, where did you guys start? Well, um, I own the store together with Julie, my sister. Um, it started as an idea probably 20 years ago. Um, we both actually were working in high tech, and but this was always our passion. We grew up sewing when we were little girls. We love shopping, we love clothing, um, and it's something we've always done and love doing. And so as we were working in our other jobs in high tech, we kept talking about possibly doing this. And um, 10 years ago, we decided we better do it or it's never going to happen. So we quit our jobs, worked on a business plan, and went from there. And did some research, found a spot in Menlo Park. That was our first store. And opened the second store a few years after that. Wow, that's so exciting. Do you guys love being here in Mountain View? We do. This is a wonderful downtown. There's so much activity, so much foot traffic. Um, it's very happening downtown. Well located, too, on the main street. The, the so thing I love great. about Boutique 4 is there's so many unique pieces and collections. Um, how do you guys select different pieces from your store when you're buying, and what is kind of like the process? Well, we go to trade shows, but the way we choose our pieces is, as you said, we look for unique pieces, lesser known designers, but they need to be well made, well priced, um, easy to take care of. Um, comfortable, flattering, so those are kind of the criteria we use whenever we select our pieces. But we think of our customers um, and what they prefer and what looks great on them, that's kind of our guideline. Versus listening to what the fashion industry is telling us to do. We don't, we ignore that and pay attention to work. I can tell all the thought that goes behind like the design of the dresses when they try them on. And I know that customers can come in and get individualized attention and that's what I really Joy. Um, Thank you, that's what we enjoy doing. Someone comes in and they're looking to explore different styles, like how would, what advice would you give them if they're trying to be more creative? Well, um, the first thing I do is I look at their coloring, I look at their body type and try to figure out what's going to flatter them. And then I start showing them pieces um, based on what I know would look nice on them and get a feel of what they're comfortable with style-wise and then kind of go from there. Your it's all over the place, no, really. I, it's not like I go for um, boho or trendy or classic. I kind of experiment with everything. I just love all types of clothing. Um, it's more of what looks flattering on me. But in terms of style, my sister and I both, we love all styles of clothing. Um, I do have a tendency towards like, the Chinese, kind of classic. And that's what we love. We like to carry a lot of those types. Like what you're wearing. It's something that could look good on any age, any body type. In fact, I own that dress too. It's very eclectic. It is eclectic, so yeah. And that's me. That's how my house is. That's how our store is. It's eclectic, yeah. Um, is there any advice you give to someone who's um, interested in starting their own boutique? Maybe? Oh, um, advice? It's. There's a lot more to it than we were expecting. Um, of course, there's the fun part of it with the clothing, but there's a lot of day-to-day -day other pieces of it that are, you know, very difficult, time-consuming. So if you're going to do it, it's something you need to be very, very passionate about and really love doing. Thank you for having us today. Thank you for coming.